Hello everyone, my name is Marcin and welcome to another Photoshop tutorial in which I'm going to show you how to change black object on the image to any color you want. At this moment it's the color blue but I'm going to show you the techniques that allows you to make it any color you want. So it can be blue, it can be red, it can be yellow and also it can be very specific color so if you need to match this to some specific color i will show you how to do this so let's start from the very beginning and it's usually very simple to manipulate the color once we have color objects so it's very easy to change the red color into the color blue it's very easy to change yellow uh, into the green and everything uh, that is colorful. The problem is with the black objects, it's not so easy. So first of all, what we need to do, we need to make the selection over the black object. In this case, I'm choosing curves and let me name this as a number one, it will be our starting point. And what I'm going to do, I'm going to choose select and color range. And using color range, I'm going to sample the black colors over the image to make the perfect selection. So let me show you how it's done. I'm choosing this eyedropper, choosing the black color over here. Then I'm choosing the plus. I'm trying to select all of the other shadows of the black color that exists on the image. You can increase the fuzziness a little bit if you want to make the selection even wider, but once it's selected, you can just press OK. So I'm going to hit OK, and what happened right now, our mask, our layer mask, has this shape. It might be not perfect on the corners, it's always, you can always paint on it with the color white, or black if you need to make some corrections, but in my case, it will do the job. So once it's done, I will start manipulating with curves and changing the light and colors. So I make this object colorful thanks to what I will be able to change the color later. So first of all, I'm going to increase the curve and by the fact that we make the layer mask and selection only on the object, as you can see, when we increase the light, we only increase this actually on our object. So, okay, we have the white background, but the truth is with another background, I was doing some design project recently, it was lenses, uh, some other specific parts. Even if you don't have white background, when you have the selection, um, and you define the layer mask, you will affect only the area that is defined on the layer mask. So I'm increasing the light a little bit. I'm also going with some colors and I will choose some color, maybe, maybe something green. So I will go with the green color because I think it will be simple to change it a little bit later. So this is the color of my mobile right now. And now I will be able to change it into any other color. Let me show you how. I'm choosing hue saturation. And now I'm going to choose the color that doesn't really exist here. So we have color green. Let's choose opposite, which will be red or maybe magenta. Uh, two of them are very different. And then we'll have to pick up by this eyedropper the color and it defines the color at as greens too. And now simply we can switch the hue and we will achieve any color we want here. You can go with blue, with purple, with magenta, with yellow, with orange and red. As you can see, you have all range of colors. So this is the first part. But also more difficult task would be here, how to actually match the color to some color that we need to match it because I was doing some project where I had to match the exact color. So let me show you how it's done. I'm going to choose some color. Let's see, uh, maybe some blue. Let's uh, go around this color. 
have this blue color and I'm going to make the rectangle and fill it with the color blue. So let's say you want to change the color of this font into the blue color. Now I'm going to create empty layer, choose brush to take a sample of the green color I have here. So I'm getting somewhere from the middle and I'm creating another rectangle above and we have two colors. We have the blue color that we want to make and we have the green color that we have right now at this moment. And now I'm going to hue saturation. I'm choosing once again magentas, could be red. And I'm choosing the color that is here, which will be of course defined as a green stew, which is the same as before. And now I'm searching for the point where this color becomes similar to the color I have below. To help yourself, you can create new layer and check the hue values of these two colors. So our color we want to get has hue two to three and our color right now 218. So a little bit more, the greens too. Five points more should solve this. So we have the same hue, yet we have different saturation values. What I could do now, I can try to increase the saturation. And as you can see, by doing so, I'm getting closer. It's still not matching, but now I will try to manipulate with lightness. And at some point, you will stop seeing difference. Of course, it will take really good eye to match this. I think now we are getting really close. So probably a few more tries and our color our match in this case would be perfect. And I think now we are about to write. I believe you guys could have better eyes. I'm actually having glasses, my eyes are horrible. So maybe I didn't get that perfect, but I'm sure it's very close. So that's how you adjust the colors. Last thing uh, maybe you'd like to do, sometimes we get we affect some areas we not necessarily want, like the ones over here. In this case, I can put these two adjustment layers with color to one group. So I select them both, pressing Command and clicking on them both, then Command and G to put them into the group. I'm going to name it color and I will create the layer mask on it. And now on this layer mask, I can paint with color black in the areas I do not want to be affected. So it wasn't really affected, but if it would be, as you can see, we can actually bring it back. And this is our color black. So here it wasn't really affected, but if it is, for example, we could also bring back this logo if that would be needed. Of course, we'd have to be very careful over here by painting, but it's doable. As you can see, when we zoom this very close and doing this really nicely close to the edges. As you can see, it's actually quite simple to do. It would take me probably one minute more, but I don't want to hold you too long. And as you can see, we can have full control on everything we do. Thank you for watching this tutorial and I'm going to see you next time. Thank you. Make sure to check the description for all the materials and social media to follow me. And once again, I will see you next time.